Alright, so I'm going to take a video of uh, the points to remove this cab. This is for 55 through 59 trucks. Got to take the bumper off. This is for the core support. Front cab mount. Rear cab mount. Uh, you got to re remove everything for the steering box and get the steering out of out of place. Make sure you clear uh, for shift linkage and um, remove the brakes. Okay, so down there, right there is the front core support mount. Um, this is a bolt that goes through and then you got to grab the nut on the bottom of it and pull it down. These are, uh, how do you call that? Capsulated nuts. The bolt's going to be underneath facing up. Uh, soak these, soak these with penetrating oil of some kind. Um, I use PB blaster. And then there's a bolt on the inside right here. I broke this one off. So once again, soak these. So there's this, then there's this cross brace. Also, it's bolted right here. It's a little tab right there. Then there's a, a bolt up here to take the front clip off. And then two people can take this whole thing off. Um, pull the hood off, two bolts on both sides. That's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, if you still have the fuel tank in the truck, if you still have the fuel tank in the truck, I had a fuel line coming up right there. These bolts are rusted. I don't plan on reusing any of this, so I just cut it. I'm going to come back later and cut this off with the um, grinder. Same with that. Probably just going to drill through that and pull it out. I don't need it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I cut my uh, drive shaft, or drive shaft, I cut my steering column because I don't plan on selling it or anything. Um, but yeah, a couple bolts. There's two bolts here. This whole thing comes out. I'm trying to think of anything else that was super fun. Uh, I stripped the cab of wiring, so I don't remember how the wiring went don't really care i'm going to do a painless wiring harness for this thing but yeah that's it how to remove 55 through 59 second gen 3100 cab